This meeting is being recorded. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. We're really grateful to have you here. We're really excited to be able to speak with our current MBZ UAI students who are also leader members of the Graduate Student Council at Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence. We're doing a short series where we're conducting interviews with current students to learn about their experiences and their own tips and suggestions and guidance as you go through the application and admissions process as well. So um, just to briefly introduce myself, my name is Haley. I'm the program manager with the Institute of International Education, which partners with Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence, MBC UAI, to provide um, outreach and support services um, for the admissions process. Um, we are really excited to have you all look at applying for the fall 2023 admissions. And I'm even more excited to be able to um, have our student interviewee today um, introduce herself. So if you'd like to just share your name, your country, which program you're in when you joined MBZ UAI, that would be great. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Hawa. Um, I'm from Nigeria. Uh, I'm a first year master's in machine learning student at MBZ UAI. I joined August, so that's like two, two months ago. So I'm pretty new here. And I'm also the public relations coordinator for the Graduate, Graduate Student Council. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Hawa, and fantastic to already see how engaged and involved you are so early on to joining the university just a couple months ago. So congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and dive into things um, just to get a right. sense of um, your own guidance and insights. Um, we'd love to kind of go back to the beginning. So how did you first learn about MBZ UAI and what initially made you interested in applying? Okay, so my best friend, um, she has some family that stay in Abu Dhabi. So they told her about the school and they were like, oh, it's a new school. It's really good. They have the scholarships and the, it's really good. It's the first AI university. You should try applying for it. So I, uh, she told me about it and we both applied. But unfortunately, unfortunately, she didn't get in. But when I looked at all oh, the courses and the faculty profiles and the scholarships and the location it was just like it was like a perfect fit for me i felt like it was a perfect fit for me as as a uh, unmarried muslim girl living your home you need to go somewhere where you feel safe and where you can really get like all those benefits that you would get anywhere else in the world or like even better right and there's also the scholarships so i was like oh yeah and i was already doing stuff related to data science and i was just like yeah this is really good for me it's good to have a master's in machine learning with all these benefits fantastic that's amazing and really cool to hear about um kind of your background and experience getting to hear from others is obviously really impactful and being able to make kind of the right choice for us for um graduate school um you mentioned a few of these um a moment ago but would love to hear you kind of expand upon any aspects of MBZ UAI that have been like the most impressive and interesting to you, whether that be faculty, location, course offering, scholarship benefits, what have been the most kind of um, significant kind of um, impressive aspects of the university to you? Okay, so I think the, the most important one is like the courses they offer because it's like it's in my line. It's like what I wanted to do, machine learning, AI. So yeah, it was really like, oh yeah, definitely and then the scholarship it's really really good it's like a complete package that allows you to focus on being a student you don't have to worry about paying your fees or like monthly stipend and stuff like that you just need to focus it's just like just be a student right so the, the package is really good and also for the opportunities in AI in Dubai it's it's really good and also the opportunities even uh, like other countries right it's really really good but so that's another and another thing was the location because a part of our safety is here and how welcoming and hospitable the people are so those those were the major factors that decided for me that's amazing and yet abu dhabi and just generally uae is so diverse again i know there's over i think 35 nationalities of students represent in this yeah, same, body, yeah. same with faculty so just even the campus alone it's really international Yes, yes, yes. I think the the students are from like over 35 countries or something. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. It's like all the regions of the world. So yeah, it's a really yeah. neat cohort to be able to study and learn along with because I know any, you know, any other university I've really, you know, heard of or learned from, you're mainly going to be with students from that country or again, maybe some international students, but not to the degree that this university is. So 
That's really exciting. Um, kind of segueing a little bit to that as well. Obviously, you, you're new to NBC UAI. You've only been here for a few months, so you're still collecting memories and experiences at the university. But would love to hear, since you've arrived, what are some of your favorite experience and memories at NBC UAI so far? Um, I think the first thing would be the people, the people I've met. I've met really, really kind people. The old students, they are very, very nice. I think during the orientation week, that was the first week we got here, they planned these trips for us where we went to like, we visited some places in Abu Dhabi and we went with, we had like a guide, some of the old students and there's one person, Felicia, she was really nice. In the bus, she went from row to row in the bus and spoke to everybody, like all the new students, she spoke to all of us. It was amazing, like the effort she took and how kind she was, it was really nice. And also my friends, because uh, I've made some, a couple of friends from here. I, I have a friend from Indonesia, a friend from Zimbabwe, uh, a friend from India. So it's like I've met all these different cultures and it's just really nice experiencing all of this and going through the school stress <laughs> together. So it's really, really nice. Uh, another thing that I like here is the facilities that are provided by the school and how they make it, they try their best to make learning convenient for us. Like we have the access to the labs 24 seven, the access to the printers and like all this recreational stuff. There's a swimming pool, there's a gym. So it's like, oh, you go to school, you go to the labs, right? And it's really, really stressful. Then at the end of the day, you can either go swim or go gym or play some games or something. So the school really tries to balance out the, academic and recreational life so there's like it's really it's really good for your mental health and they always try to provide a lot of services in terms of career and uh, yeah like they are, they are like health, health talks so it's really good I love the things they are providing for the students it's really good that's amazing and yeah that's such a holistic experience because you're getting community you're getting academic kind of rigor and experience and you're also getting great facilities and resources to make sure that you're also continuing to be well and enjoy the experience and make the most of it so that's amazing um so kind of switching gears a little bit to talk about more of the application and admissions process because i know that's on all the prospective students minds um, what tips do you have for prospective students as they're going to submit their application? So you were probably in the state kind of this time last year or around then of, you know, getting your application yeah. materials together. So since you have clearly successfully gone through the process, what suggestions do you have for prospective students? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the first thing is just be you and try to put in your best effort, right? So like put in your best effort. So there are some requirements like the English exam and your a statement of purpose so like put in your best effort to prepare those things right put in your best efforts to write the exam and get a good grade there's also the GRE but that's optional I, I personally didn't try the GRE I only did the English test and then I really took my time to prepare my statement of purpose I think like I, I wrote it several months before I even started to apply to schools and I kept on reviewing and reviewing. And if you have like a group of friends who also want the same thing, you can just, oh, can you review this for me? So like oh, work on your stuff. And also if you don't have a lot of experience in this field, maybe try to take some online courses because the, they ask for like a bit of or what kind of background have you had in like maybe programming or do you have any? It's like not compulsory, but like there are fits for that. So it's it's not bad to have, right? So it's better to have it than to not uh, like my, it's my protocol is it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So just, if you can, just take some extra courses to just fill in that box. That's excellent advice. Always better to have more and need to remove it than to need extra content, not have it. So that's great advice. Um, so as we wrap up today's interview, um, would love to just um, have your thoughts as well. Maybe even when you were applying, you felt a bit intimidated or weren't sure if you know this was going to be um, an opportunity you'd be able to have. So for prospective students who are thinking about applying, maybe they're a bit unsure or a little bit intimidated, um, what would you say to encourage them to submit their applications? Uh, I think simple, just do it. I think for, for my personal experience, I had a bit of an issue with my entry exam because there's also an entry exam. So I had internet connection issues and I wasn't able to attempt all the questions, right? And I, I felt, I, I gave up at that moment, right? Like I, I was 
was so sure I wouldn't get in. These people won't even think about me anymore. Like I was so sure. But my best friend's mom, she was like, "Don't worry about it. You know, this is not the this is not the only thing, right? They would, they might look at other stuff. Just be you." And then I think the next day or two days later, they sent me uh, an invite for an interview. And I'm like, maybe they just they just want to give me an interview. So it won't be like they didn't give me an interview, but they're just going to tell me they don't want me to be a student here. Uh, but I, I but I still prepared for it in a way like, okay, let me just prepare. And during the interview process, it was really fine. It was majorly like, oh, trying to get to know the kind of person you are and to kind of see your background kind of, yeah, it was like that. And it was really fine. And a few hours after the interview, I got my acceptance letter. So I feel like don't don't feel down. Just uh, put in your best effort. Just put in your best effort. If you are a religious person, pray over it. That's that's what I really did. I After the exam wasn't fine and my best friend's mom spoke to me, she said, just pray over it. You know, I prayed over it. My mom also prayed over it. So it was, it was just, I don't know. Just do your best, right? Do your best. Like check all the boxes, so it does. It won't be like, oh, it's because I didn't do. Just do your best and just do it. If you don't apply, the answer is no. But if you apply, there's a fifty percent chance that the answer is yes. So, put in your best effort and just apply. And I wish anyone that's that's applying. Yeah, congratulations. And what a beautiful inspiration and story. That's phenomenal. And that is such a good reminder as well for applicants. The university does a really good job of looking at your application holistically. Like you have the actual application, you have your references, you have your academic and professional background, you do have the entry exam, you also have the interview. So there's lots of things to kind of assess your competitiveness for. So that's a really good reminder too. It's not just one aspect, they're really looking at the whole person. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, Hawa, thank you so much for your time, for your insights, for sharing with students about your experiences. This is really phenomenal. Um, we're really grateful for it. I know students will find this really helpful. So thank you so much for your time. I'll stop the recording here and everyone continue to check out NBC UAI programs. Um, you can submit your application on the website and you can always reach out to our team if you have any questions. So thank you. Thanks, Hawa. Bye.